Samsung Galaxy S8 rumors point to broader sales at the same price tag. LG G6 leaked images show us brushed aluminum in 2016 specifications, and the Google Now launcher will apparently cease to exist very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, somebody told me that the combination of gray hair and t-shirts didn't look that good, and uh, I'll spare you the response. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Believe it or not, the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 continues to be on sale. You can find certain SKUs for as little as $200 off each one. And actually, that's not as little. $200 off for a Surface is a lot of money. But then those of you in the market for the Surface Book, that's rarely ever available on sale. It's currently now at $1,700, but we're not talking about the performance space, by the way. So uh, yeah. Now, for those of you that were looking forward to an Android Wear solution coming from Google, apparently it's not going to come from LG. We've got some leaked images of the retail box of the LG Watch style, and it seems that it's going to be an LG Watch. There's no Pixel branding, there is no Nexus branding, or anything that indicates that this will be a Google product. So it seems that the wait might still continue. The rumors still reign that there will be a Google variant. The question is, what OEM will it be? We're still thinking that it should be LG. We'll see. And speaking of LG, we've got some leaked images that show us the fact that, yes, this will be a brushed aluminum device, at least in the sides. We're still not sure what exactly this back is going to be made of. We've seen cases where apparently it's going to be glass, other ones where it's this texture that shouldn't look that bad at all. But then again, probably what concerns us most are the specifications. We've got some benchmarks that show us a Snapdragon 821 processor and 4 gigs of RAM. So think about it, this is going to be a very expensive phone that has lesser specifications than the OnePlus 3T. That doesn't make any sense. Now, how about if we go back to the Samsung Galaxy S8 rumors? Two things. Number one, we've seen some leaked cases of the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus, clearly one device larger than the other. The other is that apparently some sources claim that Samsung plans to keep the same price tag of the Galaxy S7 Edge, or at least the whole concept that the difference between the S7 and the S7 Edge, or S8 and S8 Plus, will be just $100 question is, what will the price be of the S8? But still, it seems that Samsung wants to remain with that strategy, and the company is also expecting to sell more of the larger units than the smaller ones. So that's going to be interesting. And finally, the very concerning news today have to do with the probable demise of the Google Now launcher. There is a leaked letter between Google and developers and OEMs talking about the fact that Google will cease to distribute it as of March 1st. Now, this is rather interesting as apparently we're not waiting for a Pixel launcher to make it. There is no confirmation on that. And it seems that consumers will still be getting updates from the Google Now launcher if it's already on your apps installed on your phone, but apparently you won't be able to download it as a new application going forward. OEMs will still have tools that will allow them to embed the feed or the old Google Now feed into their launchers, but this could mean that there will be no more Google Launcher. I don't know, I'm kind of worried, but it leads me to the question of the day. What is your favorite launcher on Android, and do you feel that it would be a loss if the Google Now Launcher dies and there is no Pixel Launcher coming? In my case, I will be honest, my favorite Android launcher is the Oxygen OS variant that comes from OnePlus. I feel that this company is the one that figures it out the most, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on parkingnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.